Hi guys, thanks for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. We're going to go ahead and take a look at Scorpio and Taurus relationship. I hope you guys are doing okay out there. I did meditate over these cards. We're going to take a look and see what's going on with your energy at the moment. Now, Scorpio. Can I have Scorpio's energy, please? Scorpio's energy, please, in this relationship. Scorpio's energy at the moment. Ooh. Okay. Ooh, empowerment. Scorpio, the first card that comes out for you is empowerment. Another one fell. I'm actually going to take it. You're more powerful than you realize. It's safe for you to be powerful. Scorpio, I feel like you guys might be playing it safe when it comes to a certain thing. I don't know. I kind of feel like maybe some of you guys might be walking on eggshells, but it's okay for you to, to have some kind of power. I think uh, Scorpios are very reluctant to use whatever. Maybe that's what it is too. So I don't know. Except the fact that there's something that you have that is powerful. And it's okay to empower yourself. All right. So maybe you need some encouragement there. I'm getting that too. Let's see what this one is. Playtime. The dolphins know the importance of playing. A joy as joy creates miracles and manifestation. Hmm. Scorpio, do you need to take a break? Playtime. The dolphins know the importance of playing as joy, meaning your happiness and you being out there and playing, creates miracles because miracles can happen while you're playing. You don't have to have too much control over everything. So I think that's part of it too creates miracles and manifestation so you need to get out and about this is a way for you guys to be more creative get creative ideas whatever it is you do but understand that it can't be all work it has to be some play there within reason of course okay let's see one more for scorpio please give me one more for scorpio scorpio's energy in this relationship one more card please mm. morning affirmations Say positive affirmations each morning to open the gates of manifestation. Some of you guys need to put out there what it is you want in the morning, in the night. It needs to be your focus. It needs to be your goal. It's about finding how do I, how do I, how do I do this? How do I say, how do I not think about whatever it is that is consuming my mind in the morning when I should be saying affirmations because when you're saying affirmate, you're essentially speaking it into existence if it is the will, right? It ain't your will, it's his will. But I'm just saying, say positive affirmation. Some of you guys might be waking up with doubt in the morning. All right, so say positive things when you wake up to increase your energy. Understand that you need to play. I just think you need to have a routine of being a little bit more empowered if needed. I feel like you need to take a break and it needs to be some playtime. Things that you like to do, whatever, whatever. And you need to step up your affirmations game in the morning. Prayer game, affirmations, whatever it is for you. You step it up in the morning, at night, every day. Not just when things are great. Don't, you know, when you well, when the things are bad. It's a funny thing. People show up when things are bad. Show up every day and they won't be as bad. Listen, I'm just saying. Taurus! Give me Taurus's energy in this relationship, please. Yeah, Scorpio, for real. Step up your morning game with the affirmations. Ooh, Taurus. Okay, let's do that. Synchronicity. Okay. Your prayers and questions are being answered by synchronistic events. Notice them in order to increase their flow. You're being asked to pay attention to certain things that you see, certain things that connect. You're being asked to pay attention to that. All right, so look out for that. Your prayers and questions are being answered. All right, so you want to, they're being answered with things that you start to see that are in common or somehow related, something that's like undeniable, right? Something that's just so all you like, yeah, I got to be connected. Don't question that stuff because usually it is. Soulmate relationship, new romance with a spiritual basis is here for you now. Hold on, let's look at this. <sighs> Tell me more. Protection. You... Your loved ones and your possessions are safe and protected by heaven. Okay. Okay, let's take a look. We're going to get into your story to see what exactly is going on. Because I think I understand what I see. I'm trying to see if I can put these on the screens for you guys. Hang on. I don't want to put them in the order. I don't put them like this. I don't really know what that means. Okay, so I'm going to put these like over here so you guys can actually see them a little bit. Yeah. 
All right. Besides, I'm not putting any other cards that I know of over there. So, uh, when I look at your reading, guys, I am, for the first card, I'm showing Scorpio. Put this right here. Card's only going to go all over them, but... Scorpio, what I'm showing for you, I'm showing that this is an extremely ambitious time for you. I feel like you guys are going to receive a really good, uh, it's going to be some kind, I feel like there's two communications coming in for you, Scorpio, when it comes to um, ambitions or something like that. There's something that you want to achieve or that you have achieved, something that you're doing, somebody's going to go ahead and reach out to you. So you're going to receive messages regarding your goals. The next card that I have for Scorpio is the Knight of Wands. So Scorpio, there's also some good news coming in about work. There's something have this good news coming in, something about work and finances, funds are going to be available. Uh, Scorpio, you're being advised that whatever's going on, uh, if this is work for you or business, it's a good time for you guys to move forward in something. I see a big focus here on Scorpio trying to move forward in something. There is something here that says Scorpio is willing to take a risk. So they can move forward into what it is they want. All right. So you guys are taking risks at this time. Some of you guys are entrepreneurs. <clears throat> Some of you guys, I don't know if you work in offices or something like that, but I feel like this is entrepreneur or some kind of work thing or whatever this is. Right. And I see that you guys are going to make some kind of moves in something. Right. So some of you guys are willing to take risks to achieve whatever it is you want to achieve. Now, there's also going to be people coming in, poking at you. Like, I have this opportunity. There's a lot of opportunities coming in here. That's crazy. But I also see here, now, mind you, Scorpio's at a happier time in their lives now, right? So there's some kind of rebirth. The rebirth could be in love, all right? So and that's another thing. The rebirth could be in love here. We see the star card. It talks about rebirth. Some of you guys could have the attention on you from companies or whatever it is you're doing because we have the star card. That is also something shining on you. But it also talks about renewal, the spotlight, miracles. Miracles come up. Didn't they come up for you, Scorpio? So I see where you guys have this energy where you're trying to focus on bettering yourself, right? But I also feel like that is the same energy that Taurus has, but it's a little different. Now, when we look at Taurus, now, granted, Taurus's cards are synchronicity, soulmate relationship, and protection. So if you're already in a relationship, it's like, why are you? But that's not what it is. I think what we're doing here is understanding that Scorpio has changed their dynamic. Like, I, you know, maybe they weren't as affectionate before. Maybe they didn't seem interested in you, Taurus, before, right? But now they're like, oh, man, like, I got this going on. I got that going on. I'm, I'm taking a break here, a little bit of breaks. I'm becoming more, you know, I understand that I need to do some things in terms of affirmations and things like that. So Scorpio has this realization. And with all these things that change with Scorpio comes happiness. But when we look at Taurus, we also see that Taurus is probably a corp corporate or a corporate head. So Taurus is out here trying to help Scorpio do something. So I think that Taurus is the one who is like, I want our lives to be a little bit more comfortable. I'm getting water, guys. This is like... Sorry, I had to get water. So, yeah, I feel like Taurus is the one who's like, I want our lives to be a little bit more comfortable. I don't want to worry about money, especially with you. You changed your employment. See, what's going on here is Scorpio is like ever changing. These Both these signs are fixed. So it's like, um, I just feel like, I feel like Scorpio's taking all these risks, right? And I think in response to it, Taurus is like, I gotta make sure we're good. So, Taurus is out soliciting loans, perhaps, or doing something. There's something that you're trying to do to make sure you maintain your well-being. But I feel like this is a little annoying to you because I feel like it's an almost flighty energy in a sense that comes from Scorpio. However, I do think Scorpio is extremely serious. But I think this time, Taurus might know. Scorpio is like, oh boy. So now it's like you're in a state of confusion. Like, I feel like, Taurus, I don't know if you want to go through another round or whatever this is. It's not necessarily bad. It is ambitious, but I feel like there could be a lot of change in depending on changes, depending on whatever Scorpio decides to do with these communications and phone calls coming in. Right? I feel like Scorpio may have been too much into this or whatever it is because Taurus's response is, I got to make sure it was straight. Now, I also feel like with the Five of Cups reversed here, I feel like Taurus is like, I, 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 I don't know. 
I feel like I need to make a decision about something. I feel like Taurus is a little like, I don't know. I feel it's like a wishy-washy. You believe that Scorpio might be wishy-washy. I feel like you're trying to protect everybody. I feel like you're trying to make sure everybody's straight. I feel like you're definitely trying to be supportive here. All right. But I feel like there's, it could be regret. There could be loss. It could be reset, regret. You could have had losses in the past dealing with certain, you know, uh, business whims or whatever. Scorpio, Scorpio is always trying to get rich. Like, it's crazy. The funny thing is, I ain't even, I'm like, I don't go hard. Like some Scorpios, it goes so hard. Like, it's crazy. We always got a get rich scheme. <laughs> no, Laura, I'm saying. So, uh, so I'm not surprised that Taurus is aggravated by this. It's like, oh my goodness. So anyway, there could have been some loss. There could be some regrets here. All right. Over things that went on, allowed to go on. But I just think, I think Taurus is just like, I don't know. Like, I feel like you, you I feel like this is, there's this imbalance. Like, I don't know if I feel this. I don't know if I feel that. I feel like there's a little bit of nervousness here. All right. And I start to see you become emotionally withdrawn from this situation right but if you really look at it because i mean there's a lot of emotions here having to do with taurus taurus is about the emotions and then we have scorpio here who's about really the creativity the, they're doing you know it looks like scorpio's developing their career or making decisions about business or something like that so that's what i get but i also feel like you're in it too in a sense you're supporting scorpio so scorpio supporting however this goes whoever story this is but i feel like with taurus there's a little bit of a like, I don't know about this. You know, I feel like you guys could be coming out of the energy or feeling lost or something like that. Maybe you're coming out of that energy. But I feel like at one point there's some kind of regret. There's some kind of loss. Definitely this, this energy that's very like, oh, good. Like I'm holding my breath kind of. All right. So you become emotionally withdrawn, Taurus. We're going to take a look and see what comes up for you guys. I know the main energy here, that I'll tell you, both of you guys are somehow connected. You're socially connected. So we probably have like really social people here. I feel like we have two very social people here. So you guys are like well connected. That gives both you guys the opportunities to network and bring whatever this is into fruition. Because I told you this, I don't know if there's something coming up where Taurus is soliciting business or guess what? da 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 or telling what the one does or whatever you know like basically selling you but i do think uh i do think that taurus has uh does have a lot of belief in scorpio i do soulmate synchronicities right your prayers and questions are being answered prayers things that i pray for are in the questions i don't know the answer to so you seeking those answers they're going to come out but the soulmate relationship a new romance right a new romance so it doesn't say that you're cheating and all this other stuff that i see i'm gonna pull the love cards and see if anything comes up but for right now for some of you guys this just means that your relationship is going to uh re-emerge better it's going to re-emerge more spiritual it's going to re-emerge because we see i i want renewal i want to love i want to die right and then we have here where taurus was feeling a little bit sad like i don't know about this da -da 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 -da, but protection your loved ones in your... Uh, yep, and I think that's what it was about. I feel like Scorpio is taking this risk. And Taurus... This could, listen, it doesn't have to be that drastic, all right? I mean, I mean, your Scorpio could be uh, leaving one job to go to another one in the middle of a recession. And you could be scared about that. Right? But it's going to be okay. It works out one way or another. Because I see this Scorpio over here working. But Taurus, I see you securing that bag. you like, listen... I'm going to go let you open up your hat store on the corner. Cause you can sell peanuts too as accessories or whatever. But what I'm going to do is make sure I got this bank loan. I'm going to make sure the, the, that money is there, whatever. So it's really about stability. That's what I get for that part. Now we're going to take a look at love. Now y'all know this whole story for switch. Take what resonates. Leave the rest behind, as they say. You know what? I'm going to use my beat up cards. Because I really don't want I'm going to use these. They're the same thing. It is what it is. And I'm just trying to make sure the board is somewhat you know to actually see it Whew. all right let's take a look at love for you guys give me love for scorpio and taurus a relationship what's the common energy in love you know what guys i'm gonna move these over whoa did i do that yes i did i did that i made space it actually looks except no okay it looks better i don't say acceptable better it looks acceptable all right 
Show me Scorpio and Taurus relationship, please. Mm. Past life relationship. You've known each other before. Yeah, y'all wanted them couples. Him and you. Five lives ago in kindergarten. Oh, dramatic. Especially Scorpio. That's crazy. All right. It's safe for you to love. Open up your heart to give and receive the highest energy of all. That's what I'm talking about. And I say that because, like I said, Scorpio's up for renewal. I'm going to live again. I was probably making you sad before, but now, now I know I got my partner who's going to hold everything down while I go out to the circus or while I try and sell circus accessories outside the Coliseum before the circus plays. Something like that. So, one of you is going into business and very supportive, quietly scared, holding my breath, I hope. But I feel like there's a difference. I do. I feel like Scorpio is like giving off this vibe that you should really believe in me right now. And I think Taurus does. Forgiving and learning as you release and heal from the past. Because we do see that energy here. I'm coming out of this energy where you hurt me. You abandoned me. I felt like you didn't include me in the plans. You experience more love. In his present moments. That's beautiful. I think you got... I don't know, I've always found you guys solid anyway. I do. I, I, I've always felt that way about this couple, so I'm not actually surprised. But I am looking for these heart cards. See? I got everything right here. Hey, I'm going to pull a card. I'm going to see if there's any advice for this couple for Scorpio and Taurus. Oops. Okay, didn't fall on. For Scorpio and Taurus, uh, July 2022. July 2022, do we have any messages, a message or messages for... That's still... I don't like the way that looks, but... It looks better than his head, right? All right. Ooh. Let's see what this is. <coughs> Ooh. Oh, God. Listen. This is going to go real good, or it's going to go real bad. I think I got it to go... If I move something the wrong way... If I move the wrong way, the whole thing is just... Poof. All right, so... Well, that looks terrible. Oh, at least I try. I'll just forget it. This is the most frustrating. Okay, anyway. Let's see. I need my, my equipment. Close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. You can allow joy into your life regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. Find a joy in it, guys. I feel like that's what keeps you going. Hmm. Sacred Union. Honor and treasure your relationship, for it's truly sacred. Okay. Is there anything else I want to pull for you guys? I don't think so. I think that's it. I want to thank you guys so much for... Y'all are something else. This is nice. I'm just looking at all this other stuff coming up. I'm like, it's all nice. All, the, all of them are very nice. Okay. So I want to thank you guys so much for tuning in to Zen Romance Tarot. Like, share, subscribe. Like, share, subscribe. I, 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 please. Okay. I'll see you guys soon. Bye.